Hey, this is Amy with Flower Moxie. We sell flowers to DIY brides. If our tutorials help you, then hit the like button below and subscribe. So today we're gonna to be talking about plastic vaseware and what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of plastic vaseware? It is probably cheap and ugly and I don't blame you, but I'm here to maybe shift your views on that and to show you some other options. So when it comes to DIYing your flowers, um, you probably don't want to run out and make an investment in vaseware that's really expensive. So like mercury glass and metal uh, urns and bowls and uh, compotes, those typically run about $20 to $30 a vase. And as a florist, I buy those because it's an investment, I can reuse them. But when you're DIYing, it's kind of one and done, so you may not want to spend that much. So an alternative is plastic resin vaseware. So we typically sell white, um, gold, black. We even have like a terracotta resin vase. And you can leave them the same as they are. I really like the shapes. I picked these out personally and I designed in all of them just to make sure that they're really good to design with and they work with our recipes, which they do but they may not be the color that you want. You may want to create like a different feel. And the best way to do that is simple latex paint and baking soda. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. So these two I have already done. We did a shoot and I, I wanna say it was like dusty blush and cream and green. And I didn't want the harshness and the contrast of the white vase. So I took this and I got this paint. It was called Milk Toast, which is pretty much like my favorite paint color name. And um, we mixed it with some baking soda. I haphazardly painted it on and it worked out fantastic. So I could really control the color of my vase where it doesn't scratch off. It attaches or um, adheres really well to the plastic. And I even scrubbed this right before this video uh, with some water and Dawn and a kitchen scrub brush because I had gotten dirt on it. So it works really well and it doesn't flake off. And it gives it this matte, almost stoneware appearance. So when you see it, it definitely doesn't feel plastic or cheap when you get those um, florals in there. And so I'm gonna show you what I do when I paint my vaseware. And if you're a new florist watching this or an experienced florist, oftentimes brides will say, well, I wanna keep the centerpieces at the end of the night, but they don't wanna pay for that really expensive vaseware. So this is a great alternative if they wanna pass out the vases to their to their friends and their family because these only cost about four or five dollars a piece. So uh, this is what I did a lot for my brides who wanted to do that. And just as like a little side note, if you're a florist, this right here is a little plastic liner that you can get at your wholesale order online. And when I do work with expensive vases, I take these, um, I have paint in it obviously, but I take these to the, um, to the reception and at the end of the night I will transfer the arrangement from my expensive vase so I can take it back and I set it in this that way they can still take the flowers so your customers will really appreciate if you do that. Uh, okay so all of this ex is plastic except this one so this is glass so this is just a cheap uh, dollar store vase and you can paint those but if you're gonna paint glass, you need to prime it. So anything metal or glass, um, I sprayed this out with just a white spray paint primer. Um, the reason being is it can scratch off a lot easier with glass, but when you prime it, it adheres better and your, um, you know, your baking soda paint's gonna adhere better, but not necessary on the plastic. I think it just attaches better. Okay, so, um, this is pretty much a preference thing. Some people like to do like a one-to-one -one ratio. I pretty much do a three-to-one or a two-to-one. I don't know, I, I honestly eyeball it. So you get some baking soda and it's really what you're looking for is the consistency that you like. And so we're mixing this along. Okay, at this point I've put two tablespoons and it's probably, I mean, it definitely has some grit and texture to it, but I'm probably gonna do one more. And we're just stirring it up. I've watched a few tutorials. Some people like it really, really thick and pasty. I don't find it, I don't find that to be necessary.
Okay. So we're just gonna take this dry brush and paint out our base wear. It dries pretty quick and I typically do two coats. And when it dries, it will have, oh, I mean, it will definitely be matte and it will have texture, but yeah, it, especially just different colors, it can look like stoneware. Like, um, I think I had a, I was going for like a gray cement look, so I used those colors and it really gave me great texture. And so we'll do it again with terracotta, but nothing really to it. Just um, any latex paint that you, that you want. I would, when I go up and order it, I say give me the cheapest because I don't need the fancy, uh, the fancy kind. And then you definitely want flat. So I don't, I, I don't wanna go to all this trouble and have it look glossy because that's what I'm trying to move away from. And again, this one's on the glass and I primed it just so I wouldn't have to worry about it scratching. When I was a new florist, those like gold vases were coming really in style, but they were hard to find and they were very expensive. And so I would just spray paint out glass face wear. Um, and by the end of the wedding, by the time I got it back to my studio, they were so scratched up and pretty much unusable at that point. So that's what you want to avoid. Yeah, so we'll let this guy dry. <laughs> I'm not the neatest painter, but I get the job done. And when that dries, I'll probably come back and do a second coat. All right, let's do the terracotta, and I think that this is what's gonna be the most popular. Because I love terracotta vase wear, but a lot of times it doesn't come in the shapes that I want. So you can easily find inexpensive terracotta at Lowe's, but it's typically just about the size of, like it looks like a planter and that's not necessarily, necessarily what I like to design in. So let's see where I'm at with this. It's getting pasty. <laughs> Just like how I like my makeup. And I think the purpose of the centerpiece is just to really support what's happening with the flowers, like to augment the vibe. So I, <laughs> you know, I like to tell you stories of all my screw ups as a new florist, but I went out and bought all these like loud, obnoxious um, vases with all these weird shapes. They were way too big. Um, and I thought, well, this is a cool vase and this is a cool color. And when I started putting my florals in it, it just looked too busy. Um, it just, yeah, I learned that simple is best. So I like more simplistic shapes. Of course, I like it to be a certain size and I like the color just to complement what the flowers are doing. So kind of going back to the milk toast um, paint that I went with on those composts. It was really, really subtle, and it, it took away that like stark white, so it worked really, really well with the quicksand roses that I was using. And yeah, I think we shot a, a collection with that. Okay, so we can go more. I'm gonna. I'll probably pour too much in here in the first place. I just got a quart. I think that would be all that you would need to paint your vases. If you need a gallon, then you're DIYing way too many centerpieces. And I would not recommend that. Okay, this is thicker. This is about what I like. And 
my main goal in this video is to not get it on my clothes. Okay, so believe it or not, this is plastic and we're gonna come in with the same approach and I'm gonna paint it a little bit different. Because I want it to resemble a terracotta pot, I'm going to just make little X's because I don't want like the, the paintbrush strokes. And what's gonna happen is you'll see the, I guess the, the powdery baking soda come through and that's what's gonna give it that stoneware appearance. But by the time we're done with this, it is not, um, and we've put a few coats on it, it's not going to look like a plastic vase that costs $5. so we can speed all this up. <laughs> Great. And lastly, one thing that I wanted to try is I wanted to paint terracotta over my terracotta plastic. And when I see it, I don't, I don't really feel like I just look at it and kind of feel like it looks plastic. But I think that if I painted it, it would um, look more like stoneware. And so we're just gonna do that. And it's pretty common for me to repaint uh, some, some of my plastic base wear the same exact color. So this is a great example. This is the mint julep cup that comes in gold and this shiny gold offends me. I just feel it looks like way too shiny and tinny and cheap and, um, but I will just get some Valspar or Rust-Oleum gold spray paint and I will lightly coat it and it will calm it down and make it look more matte. So um, I always recommend that with our gold compotes and mint julep cups. Like the price is great, the shape is great, but the gold color, I, I'm afraid I can't control how that comes, or I would. Okay. So we still need to give this guy a second coat. He's only had one coat, so I'll, I'll show a picture, a video of doing that. Uh, this terracotta one is already dried, ready to go. I, I feel like it, it really looks uh, way more like stoneware or true terracotta. I'm really glad that I painted it. It took away that shininess of the plastic resin. This uh, glass really only needed one coat. I didn't make a huge jump when it came to the color and it's really soft. And of course, this is one that I I did this past year. So hopefully that kind of opens your mind and um, just the possibilities of um, the, the vessel that you choose, not being afraid to go with something maybe more inexpensive and still know that you can control that 
color. Um, you can do something to hide the mechanics because I personally don't love seeing a lot of stems and that you won't be so afraid to, 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 to go with the less expensive option and still know that it will look great without having to buy expensive gold urns that uh, florists typically get and hold on to and reuse a hundred times. So thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.